Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to design a counter using behavioral modeling in Verilog language. So at first, we will design an up-down counter and then we will design modulus and counter. So the up-down counter, so it will count for both the sides and as well as up and as well as down. If up is equal to zero, if mode is equal to zero, it will do the up counting from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and it will keep on counting in the positive side. And if mode is equal to 1, it will be keep on decrementing from 0010 0, 0 as 0, 0, 0, 0001, then 0000, 0, 0, 0, like this, keep on decrements. So, for this logic, we should write a program. So, at first, we will declare the module, module as up down, up down, the output is out, and the inputs are reset, clock, and mode these are the inputs so we will declare the output first and we can declare the output as a register so output register we will do for 4 bit so 3 down to 0 3 down to 0 out and the inputs are clock reset and mode these are the input variables so whenever positive edge clock arrives always at positive edge clock arrives it will go inside the loop it will begin and we will write this program by using case statement so case for single variable just to open bracket and close the bracket and if it's here more than one variable we should use parenthesis so here we will use reset and mode these are the two variables now we will write the cases 2 bit why 2 bit because we have declared two variables in the case statement reset and mode so 2 bit binary if reset is equal to 1 it doesn't bother about mode so it might be 0 uh, the out is equal to 0 out equal to 0 for 2 bit binary if reset is 1 if mode is 1 then out equal to 0 if 2 bit binary if reset is equal to 0 then if mode is equal to 0 if mode is equal to 0 it will do the up counter it will do the up counting so out equal to out plus 1 if mode is equal to 1 if mode is equal to 1 then out equal to out minus 1 in the case in case in the begin and n module So we have done the program for up down counter. So now we will copy this and we will post in your examples. So I have copied over here. So in the test bench, I have created the test bench. So in the test bench, if reset is equal to one, first case reset is equal to one, we just assume clock is equal to one. So if reset is one, the output will be zero. Then for every 100 nanoseconds, the mode will be keep on changing. So here we can give some 200 nanoseconds. For every 25 nanoseconds, clock will be keep on toggling. So let us execute the program. Uh, here we can see at first reset is 1. So when reset is 1, the output is 0. The output is 0. When, once the reset becomes 0, then what happened? The mode is 0. Mode equal to 0 means what? It will be up count. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. 
then what happens the mode turns to 1 mode turns to 1 when mode turns to 1 what happens out equal to out minus 1 so when mode is equal to 1 the output value is 1 0 0 minus 1 is 0 0 and 1 and then 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 and keep on down counting so this is called up down counter let us see the next program for modulus n counter modulus n counter in the modulus n counter we have an n as a variable so for how many uh, for n as a variable so for how many bits we can do the counting whether it can be up counting or can be down counting let us do a program module modulus n counter here the output variables are out and the input variables are clock and reset are the corresponding input variables so here in this program we will declare the parameters why para parameter means defining a corresponding constant value throughout a program so let us assume parameter n is equal to 15 n is equal to 15 and parameter width width is the corresponding the value width whether it's a 4 bit or 5 bit or 6 bit or whatever may be so width is equal to 4 let us assume so we can change it change the value in whatever modulus n so for how many variables we can do for n is equal to 15 we can do or n is equal to 10 or whatever value accordingly the width will be changed and then input is clock input is a reset variable and the output is so when width is 4 the output variable will be with minus 1 so because we will take from 0 to 3 so generally width means 1 2 3 4 4 bits so since we are giving let us assume down to 0 so it is starting from 0 so the width should be with minus 1 so that it will be 4 bits it will be 4 bits with minus 1 why we are why I am doing with minus 1 because to accompany 4 bits so when width is equal to 4 what happens here 1 2 3 4 4 bits are required so since we are doing from 0 to 4 so when 0 1 2 3 4 then 5 bit will be there so to accompany 4 bits with minus 1 has been incorporated over here and then output variable out then we should declare the output as a register and with minus 1 out then whenever positive h clock arrives whenever positive h clock arrives whenever positive h clock arrives it will goes inside the loop and begin if reset is equal to 1 if reset is equal to 1 then begin out equal to 0 out equal to 0 in the begin else begin if if out equal to the output out equal to the maximum bit is n the maximum bit we need to find out is n we are doing for n counter right so n so the output should maximum of n is equal to 15 so when out equal to n minus 1 n minus one then we should change the output to zero we should change the output to zero so out equal to zero out equal to zero else out equal to out plus one
into the begin into the one more begin and n module n module so here what happened here when n is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 0 so it, it is not equal to the corresponding 14 okay the n is 15 right so when uh, out is equal to the comment is here when the out is equal to 14 when the out is equal to 14 the count should stop the count should stop for this case n is equal to 15 the maximum count should be out is equal to 14 when out is equal to 14 the output should be 0 otherwise it will be keep on up counting so at first point the n is equal to 0 at first point the n is equal to 0 and then if n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 2 if n is equal to 3 it will be keep on changing out it will be keep on changing out so what happens here at one point the out should be equal to 14 so that point what happened the out is equal to out plus 1 if out when the out is equal to 14 happens when out is equal to 0 will occur let us see the program in Verilog language the Xilinx window we will see So here I have declared n is equal to 15 and which is equal to 4. The test point has been written as say when clock is equal to 1, when reset is equal to 1, then for 50 seconds, okay, the reset will be keep on changing from reset n is equal to 0. Let us see how it operates. So here we can see at first case when reset is equal to 1 the output is 0 then what happens once reset becomes 0 when reset is equal to 1 the output is 0 when reset is equal to 0 out is equal to out plus 1 the previous value is 0 0 0 0 so out plus 1 happens 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 it's keep on going so when output is equal to 14 happens then the output becomes to 0 so the maximum count we should perform is n is equal to 15 the more 15 counter means what the maximum value is 14 so until 14 it has been performed then after 14 the value turns to 0 0 and 1 it will keep on counting so this is how the mod n counter operates in behavioral modeling in virtual language thank you for watching